Miss Palmer, you are appearing today in court with your identical twin sister, petitioning the court for a paternity test to prove the defendant is your biological father. You claim you and your twin are both seeking results of the test, but have very different hopes for the results and for the future. Mr. Palmer, you argue that it is impossible for you to be the biological father of the Palmer twins. You actually recall their mother being three months pregnant when you met her. You say you feel badly that the girls have believed you are their father for all of these years, but claim you know the truth and it's time they faced it as well. Yes, Your Honor. Now, how do you feel that the man you believe to be your father all these years denies you? Your Honor, I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted that this is the first time I'm seeing my father in 20 years. I remember seeing him when I was six years old. I was playing in the backyard with my sister's father, and I ran to the front of the yard, and so happened he pulls up. Hey, twins. We run up. Hi, Dad. Your Honor. And he zoomed off. I don't he zoomed know, I, off. Your Honor, I remember at I eight years old, him that. coming, him popping up to my grandmother's house. My grandmother has been in the same spot for 40 years. He always knew where we were at. Where we were at. He Your popped Honor, up. Hey, twins, again. We talked to him for hours, and we didn't see him after that. The last time we seen him, we were 11 years old. He mm. said, I looked just mm. like him. We were identical to him. And now today, Mr. he's Palmer, saying we're not his kids. what do you have to say to this? I don't recall none of it, don't know none of it. It never happened. So are you honestly saying that, you don't, that you've never seen us before? Never saw you. Are you honestly saying never that? Saw you. That's a, you say that's you're looking at these two that's, looking that's, at ladies them, and you've like never them. seen them? Looking at them, <laughs> plain and clear, like them. never saw them. Oh, my goodness. That's unbelievable. You know what? Even when we, it was a time when we were 11 years old, right? We came home from school. Didn't you have a big brown van? No. Years ago, you had a Not big brown all. van and pulled back. No. He came to our house from school. He was sitting in our living room oh when we came God. home. He was sitting with it's our mother. Wrong with this as brain, soon as young. we walked in, this man said, oh, you guys look just like me. He was <laughs> sitting at our kitchen table. You it's know, been all these years. It's like, step up to the plate and say, hey, I made a mistake. Let's see if these are, these are my kids. You know, he's been wrong. around. He's popped up periodically throughout brain. our childhood. There's something wrong with their brain. So, oh, Ooh. Mr. Palmer, you say something's wrong with their brain. <laughs> Honey, yeah. I know, Your Honor, or maybe that these wrong are not mine. Brain. How do you maybe know this? Wrong with his uh, brain. Uh, when I met their mother, mm -hmm. she worked at a job with my sister. Mm -hmm. They said that, uh, yeah. And we've known no, I was married. for years. I was married. We've always seen her. And she me and my wife were separated. Lives. Okay. Okay, so my sister's a little troublemaker. Okay. So she introduced me to their mother. Okay? When I met them, before I met their mother, here's number one. She's already pregnant. My mother was a you virgin. You better watch out. My mother was a virgin when okay? she met him. This is, the, the, this is what stain. She's already pregnant. You better watch out. Yeah. This before we even talked. Well, As I took her home to with my woman. sister, they worked together. I dropped off, dropped them off. We got to know each other a little bit. I took her out a little bit. He winded now, down her whole family. He winded oh, down I her whole family, whole family for over two years. So you do for know their two years. I know the family. I know the family. I the family. <laughs> of course, okay? Now, after we went out a few times, the mama called me on the phone before we even touched. We never touched each other. She said, uh, I want to call you and tell you that I'm pregnant. I said, That's oh, yeah? Line. She said that <laughs> the young man she was messing with did not want to claim the baby. That's a bold face I said, line. you know, that's all right. I said, young, but I said, men act like that. We always get shot. But I said, at the end, they'll come together. You know, but don't worry about it. But I said, you know me, I'm married, don't want no, you know, don't want no kids. So, Mr. Palmer, what you're saying is, is that you were intimate with their mother, uh, but, yes. but she, she was, was pregnant already pregnant. And, and they finish the story. That's and, story. And you'll catch on. Okay. Now, she calls me up one day. She said, I'm pregnant. Well, by you, already, by you. You already <laughs> told me that. You're pregnant by you. You yeah. already told me that. <laughs> well, no. I was, I didn't know if I wanted to be messed with you because you're a little older than me. And I didn't know if I really like you. But really, now I am. Oh, well, baby, I'm sorry. So why did you pop Whatever you years? say is not going to convince me that you are pregnant by me. <laughs> now, Your believe Honor. me or not, the baby's coming six months. You had three, 
and okay, six together. You, you six no, we months, were, we baby. We were born a little early. We were born, I believe, you're at six, eight months or you're so. Six months what early. What you're saying yeah. is the twins were born six months after you met her. That's right. And she, she when you met babies. her, she told you she was already the pregnant. Whole, before I even met her, the job was saying already, she's three months pregnant, you better watch out. Excuse me, Your Honor. You, I said, and you, no, that's you not true. That's absolutely to the not court. true. This is a, a time frame here. Jerome, please hand me Mr. Paul. When I met her in March. A piece of paper that he got is in that is, uh, Are those the, the uh, ultrasound pictures that he kept? What you're uh -huh. saying is you met their uh -huh. mother in March. You see those babies and you didn't want to be a part of their life? 1981. Uh-huh. Looking just like you. And Maisha and Naisha were born September something? 14th. Count back six months six later. Months. Six months. And therefore, you say it's impossible and that you are their father. It's impossible. I have, I have 10 kids. You have 10 kids? I have 10 kids. And that now you may and, have 12? And the yes. And I got he one that's four Papa years old. The Rolling Stones. The only <laughs> one that I ever had a DNA done on. And that was because I asked for it because I was 60 years old and had a baby. Still having and, kids. Oh, yes. Still my having da My daddy had 32. Whoa! If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Your father has 32 children, That's right. Mr. 32. Palmer? That's a right. huge family that yeah. deprived us of knowing. 32. Right. I have a baby that's four years old. And the only reason I asked for a DNA at that time because I wasn't sure. And that's your that's the only so one. You and yes, ask for that's 99.99. Why did you wait 31 years for that's us to mine. ask for DNA? Why you but never tried to inquire about that. us? Because in my mind, there's no way. This guy has told us that we look like him. This guy has been in, in, in and out of our life, period. Like, no, years childhood, after that, childhood, we, we've childhood. Known, childhood. We've no, known honey. this man's it's sister. Never. We've known our cousins from his side. It's, this is the first time since she got in contact with this man, my sister, <laughs> that this man has said we're not his kids. And she said and that. And this man is sitting and here she, and after she has, all she these years that. and can look in our face and sit here and say that he's not our father, and you're looking just like us. Honey, like, are you serious? I, and then you look stupid. I was watering the bush. You look stupid. Yeah, you I was. I was watering the you bush. You was. You That's was. That's what I was doing. And then you should have, after all that, believe you should have inquired about your kids believe, and made sure that me. the other two, It'll find besides out. the 10, was taken care of, well, too. See, that comes back that to... That they know you, too. That comes back to this here. We, we should know our sister. Never. Never. Let's get some order, because I Look, can't understand all of you talking yes. at once. Your Honor. We should know in here. Mr. Palmer, I have to ask you, they have explicitly laid out detail after detail that indicates that they had a relationship huh. with other people in your family, oh, yes. and of they course. treated them oh, like yes. family. That's course. quite true. So my you daughter, understand why my, they think you're my daughter here? their father? I have statements from my auntie. They weren't able to come here today. They had to work. But I have statements from my auntie basically saying how this man wanted to die my mother and about how they found out Jerome, what his business was. can you get that statement for me, please? Uh, yo, Ms. Palmer, yo, yo. I'm coming to you shortly, OK? If you, yeah. if you go into the part of your okay. auntie, Let, your yeah, auntie, auntie told me um, that you that, Naisha, that would you, you like to read that statement? Yes. OK, please. this is from my auntie Desiree. Naisha, would you like to read that statement? Yes. OK, Please. this is from my auntie Desiree. She says, they started dating in 1979, and it lasted for about two years. They were very much in love. He knew when she got pregnant, but she also found out at that time that he was married. When she found out he was married, he disappeared. The twins were born, and he was not around. We found out he had a whole family because we got a hold of his address and drove by his house one time. We saw him with his wife and his two kids. He had a little boy and a little girl at the time. My sister looked through the window and saw him with his family and was hurt and left. Wow. So all this time, so this man's why? been whining and dying about her family. Why? And then all of a sudden, that's you find cute. out after you're already eight or nine months pregnant that this man that you're in love with has a wife and kids. Not My mother not. did not Six know that from the beginning. Maisha, you say it was very difficult growing up without a father. Just at the fact that my whole family, my cousins, everyone has a father. You know, we grew up without a father. And it was a void. You know, where's this man that's supposed to protect us? You know, I've been through some troubles where I was young, I wore little clothes, I was a little fast, and older men would try to approach me. I remember one time when I was 13, I almost got raped by a guy. 
and I had to scream and holler and fight them off, which, you know, my voice scared them away. But it's like, that's where you need a father. So it's like, you, if you have all these children, what if that would have happened to one of them? Oh, you I know? Broke the, I broke the, do you ever, I mean, you had two kids that you never worried about. What about killing for the ones that you left behind? What about killing for the ones that you never heard about? It's disturbing. I don't you know You left yet. us behind. I don't know you. You're yet. delusional. <laughs> I because you're lying them. and you're looking at our face. I don't, in your eyes, you're I don't blessed. You're blessed. Let's, order. Let's get some you. order. Let's get some order. Mr. Palmer, you say you don't know these two young ladies, but you do know the young woman next to you. That's this your is your daughter. Please yes. stand, ma'am. State your name for the court. Kenia Palmer. Ms. Palmer, please explain to me what you know about this situation. Well, first of all, I know my dad has been honest. I mean, I, my dad's always been in my life. I'm sorry that these girls feel like my dad is their father and he hasn't been in their life. I understand their anger, but I know my dad. He's always been very honest. He has 10 kids. He's never denied any of his kids. If he had any doubt in his mind that these kids were his, I'm sure he would have stepped up to the plate. I'm sure he would have asked for DNA. He just did it with his four-year-old. So and when I reached we, out to we heard about it. We receptive. heard, but my mom right. told me as a kid that these were not my sisters. When I asked of her, I approached not. her. As when, a I, kid. when I reached out to Kania, she was very receptive to say, "If you need a sister, I'm here. We and don't I have to be blood. We can be sisters." But I'm saying, I, I want to know my family. I want to know my siblings. If anything, I would love to know Kania. Okay, you know, Mr. Palmer, another one of your children is here today. Mm -hmm. Your son is here. Jerome, can you please bring? Mr. Palmer, son in. Sure. Thank you so much, Ms. Palmer. You, you may be seated. Got it. I'm going to take you up to the chair next to the judge. Welcome, Mr. Palmer. Hello, Your Honor. Thank you, you for joining us today. Yes, ma'am. We've been having testimony and discussion concerning the twins here. Yes, ma'am. Maisha and Naisha. They contend that your father is, in fact, their father as well. Yes, what do you know about this situation? Well, I've always known about the girls. You know, I've always heard through family members about the girls, but I've never been able to see them or confirm with them that, you know, they're my, my, they're my blood. I actually, since we share the same last name, I claim them as my sisters. I, say, I always say we have, what about the twins or things like that? Wow. And, and we um, heard that he, that he wanted to meet us a long time ago. But your father says he's <laughs> never laid eyes on these two women in his life. Till today. I mean, I've never laid eyes on him either. This is my first time seeing him. And he's always been consistent with his story. He's never veered from his story. So you've never seen the twins before in your life? Never. But as you heard about them, since they had your same last name and it was rumored that they were your father's children, you just accepted possible. them. Well, yeah, I mean, we're a very close-knit group, family. And if, you know... Well, how y'all so close-knit and he, he not accepting us? <laughs> I mean, that man has his story, and right. until he's confirmed, yeah, you know, lie. until something is confirmed different, he's I can't lie. see him he's lied to his veering family off of he's, that. He got to stick to that. But lie. he's always been there for his children, you know, like all ten of us. He's always yeah, been there. Always. So I wonder and, why, um, why, if, why if, not? Why I, not if us? they would have ever showed up to any of the family functions, there wouldn't have ever been a problem with him speaking to them, talking to them, telling them his story, because he's he's never held back on this story at all. You know, but I've heard family... He's even had fa arguments with family members about this. They're saying they look like him. He's saying they're not his. You know, he, but his story never changed. Thank you so much, Mr. Palmer. Maisha, Naisha, what are your hopes for today? And you've heard oh. all of this. What are you hoping you for? You know what? I have no hopes. I'm here for my sister, to have my sister's back. I don't care to know this man. It's been 31 years, and this man has never tried to reach out or know us. We could be dead today. He don't even know that. You know? So he's sitting here and he denies us. I have nothing. For them, if we can try to build some type of relationship, I'm well, all nothing. for it. But this man, you're a liar. How about you, Maisha? I mean, I'm here today because I want to know. You know, again, I want to know my siblings. You know, I want to know where I came from, the last name. When I met my cousin, he said, oh, you guys know uh, your family, the Palmer family, we have roots and blah, blah, blah. I want to know where we came from. I think it's time that you know. Jerome, the envelope, please. Ooh. There you go, Your Honor. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. 
These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Mr. Palmer. In the case of Palmer versus Palmer, when it comes to 31-year-old identical twins, Maisha and Naisha Palmer, Mr. Palmer, you are their father. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whoa. I'm sorry. Whoa. Whoa. No. Whoa, Dad. Wow. Whoa. 31 you years. You genuinely look surprised. Years. That's crazy. Yes. Yeah. That's a pleasure. Whoa. Whoa. You too. Whoa. I love you, man. You genuinely look surprised, Mr. Palmer. And emotional. How do you feel? Mm. Wow. That hit me. Because he would have mm. he would have been there. Mm. He would have been there. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. We he all would have been, been there. there. Can you explain to the court what's going through your head right now? What's going through in here? I was told that she's pregnant. I was told by her she's pregnant. And then to come back and tell me that she's pregnant by me, don't never do that to a man. This man still never. sitting here lying. This He'll man is that. still sitting here now instead of being a man and just telling his family that he made a mistake, he got a young woman pregnant, you had kids by her, you should have been there. It's you me. Watch and your language. Was. We're, all, we're all adults now. Why would he have a reason to continue uh, to lie? It's and he's still lying. And it's it's he's still lying. lying. Take it from this point. Listen, <laughs> this court is about not only finding out the truth, it's finding out the truth so you can figure out how to move forward. Can you, as a family, now that you know the truth, figure out how to get to know one another? Mr. Palmer, would you like to do that with your girls? Oh, my door is open. I'd like you to know. <laughs> so now I have 12. Yes. <laughs> Ms. Hernandez, four years ago, you met and then married your much younger but seemingly perfect man. You say your estranged husband started denying you and your now three-year-old daughter, Liana, only after he found another younger woman. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Hernandez, you claim that during the marriage, you often spent weeks at a time on a fishing boat for work, only to find out upon returning home that your wife had other men in and out of your house while you were at sea. You and your girlfriend are here to prove Liana is not yours. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so, Ms. Hernandez, how was your husband's denial affecting you and your daughter? It's heartbreaking. Uh, it's hard for me to put my daughter down to sleep. All she does is says, da, 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 all day. Aww. How old is she? She's three. She'll be four three. in December. So she's calling for her daddy. Yes, all day, all the time. But the man you believe is his, her biological father is denying her. Yes. And so what are you telling her? I don't know what to tell her, Your Honor. Do you know that this young child is calling out for you, Mr. Hernandez? No, Your Honor. But you do not believe this is your biological child? Yes, Your Honor. Look at her. Look at your three-year-old daughter that you haven't been there in three years. All right, so pretty much this child is being at least emotionally abandoned. There's some yeah. need that she's calling out for and she's getting no response. Yes, Your Honor. Now, in the court papers, mm -hmm. you say you thought you met the man of your dreams. He was a younger man, but you thought he was the man of your dreams. Yes. How did you all even meet? We... I was at a friend of mine's house. Okay. He comes up about an hour later walking up to my friend's house. Okay, so he came over your friend's house. Yes. And you met him. You yes. all met. Yes. Did you immediately hit it off? Yes. All right, so Mr. Hernandez, you liked her, she liked you. You yes. all started a relationship. <laughs> yes. Later on, got married. Yes. yes. All right. Two years. What? Two years later. So you got married two years later? Yes. All right, so during this time, you all had a good relationship. How did it all go wrong? I kicked him out after we had a big argument, and then... Two days later, I told him that I was pregnant with my daughter. Mr. Hernandez, what is your account? When we first got together, before she got pregnant, before I found out she was pregnant, I was gone for two weeks. When I come back in, I find out a week later 
a family member tells me that she was pregnant. That's not true. I was always out fishing, and that's when I found out so she was pregnant. So when you were pregnant. married, you still worked as a commercial fisherman, and you yes. were out of town a lot. Yes. What? Okay, so you work in a different yes. place. You come back. What made you doubt? What were you told? I was told that her ex was in the bed. Someone told you her ex was in your bed? Yes. Who? Wow. While you're out fishing? Yes. Who told you that? A family member. A family member of yours or hers? Mine. How would they know who I had in my bed? Oh. <laughs> they seen him. Yeah, coming out of the house because you and him are friends. And... And you know everything. Her. That's not you him. You know that he was at my house. It even is not when him. I'm not talking too. about him. So now you believe that he is Liana's biological father because yes, you Liana. believe Miss Hernandez was sleeping with her ex while you were out on this fishing boat. Yes. And she's even told me when we were separated from the house that she had her ex in the bed. Nope. That was she a admitted she had she her ex seen... in the bed? Yes, Your Honor. On the phone, she told me that her ex was in the bed. No. It is a lie. So why is your ex even coming in and out of the house, period, while he's at work? He goes there to visit and talk to my mother. I told him, I told my ex, don't come around. I've been hearing that for how many years? Over five years? And so, at the point you inform him you're pregnant, you immediately don't believe this is your biological child, Mr. Hernandez? Yes, Your Honor. So, and you admit that this ex is coming in and out of your house frequently, but you say it's to visit your mother. To visit my mother, yes. Hmm. So... Because my mother is like his mother. So, and he... My ex is young. You like him young, huh? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Yes, I do. I know that's right. Say it loud and say it proud. <laughs> As long as they are of age. Yes. Listen, wait, when you tell him, was his um, initial reaction, well, it's not mine, it's your ex's? No, he was happy. Oh, really? He was happy. Were you happy when you found out, Mr. Hernandez? I was happy at first, but then after the pregnancy at the hospital, that is when everything changed. After the birth at the hospital? Yes, Your Honor. What happened at the birth? Two family members came to the hospital and told me that's not my kid. Two two family family members members of whom? Her family Hers. member's yours. Hers. Hers? Who? Your mother. Your mom. Oh, because, wait. Because my mama doesn't like you. Okay, then. <laughs> so you get to the hospital to see the baby you've been excited for, and two family members come up and tell you... Yes. This is not your child. Yes. This is news to me. You just finding out today? Yes. No one in my family have ever told me that or came up to me and told me anything. Lauren Lake here giving you five seconds to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Five, four, three, two, one. What is interesting to me is in the court records, we have the birth certificate. And on the birth certificate... Liana does not have Mr. Hernandez's last name. No, she does not. But you do. Yes. He does, but she doesn't. When I was in the hospital after I had her, he wanted me to name her his last name. I didn't want to. Just in case something like this happened, that like, he denied her. There you go. Now that's a first. <laughs> You didn't give your child her father's last name just in case. He says, I'm going to deny her. I don't think this is my biological child. But if you're saying you have absolutely no reason for him to deny her, why would you not give her her father's last name? I didn't want Especially... But especially when you have it. I didn't have it at the time. I had my maiden name. We were not married. Okay, so it was before you were married and you... But still, you want her to have your last name. I literally argued with her at the hospital. Mm, No, you didn't. Then why did I was going to sign the paperwork to do it for you on the birth certificate and you said no? So, Mr. Hernandez, you believe she kept your name off that birth certificate because she knew you weren't the biological father. Yes, Your Honor. Why did you sign it when you knew I had put her last name as Lamont? You shouldn't have signed it. But, Miss Hernandez, now you've proven his case. (laughs) (laughs) 
you say you know for certain this is his biological child. You've been in tears because she <clears throat> calls out for her daddy, calls out for her daddy, and he is not there. But you just stated in this courtroom that you didn't give her his last name because just in case, he decided to deny her. Then he said, I argued with you and I said I wanted to sign that birth certificate because I wanted her to have my last name. And now you tell him, well, you shouldn't have signed it then. But he's denying her because he has doubts. He came to the hospital and two of your family members told him he wasn't the That's father. That's not true, though. Your Honor. How do you know it's not true? Did they deny it? Did you confront them and they deny it? I didn't it? know who, who it was. But who if you don't know who it was, how do you know it didn't happen? I don't know. I don't know why he's denying her because she looks exactly like him when he was when she was a baby, and now she looks like me. Do I have blue eyes, blonde hair, and I'm white? No, Your Honor. I'm Hispanic, black hair. All that's and brown from eyes. me, my side. Where's the blonde hair? My mother had light hair. My aunt had light hair. Okay. Miss Hernandez, Miss Hernandez, let, 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 look. Let me just cut to the chase. <laughs> yes. This testimony you are giving right now is, is, is faulty. Mm -hmm. Right? It, it is not adding up to me. And I need answers. I need to understand from you. Is there any other possible father for no. your daughter besides Mr. Hernandez? No. Why are all of these variables surrounding this child's birth so shaky and you and your actions play into his doubt. Not to mention the fact that you are denying that he was told that this child was not his by two of your family members and yet in the next breath admitting you don't know who said it you never heard they said it until this moment. How can you deny that something happened that you didn't even know happened? Okay, if they would have went up to him and told him this, then they would have came back to me and told me that they said it, but no the one came back. Okay, so it. your point is, is my, if my family had a doubt, yeah. so much so that they were going to walk up to him and say, this is not your child, you believe they would have said to you, this is not his child? Yes, correct. Your Honor, or do you think... They were just telling him this is not your child because you've admitted that some of your family members didn't like him. No. No, Your Honor. Every time we argued, she says that I'm not the father. That's a lie. That is a lie. I never once said that. She is the witness. She heard it on the phone. She's seen it on text messages. Miss Sandoval, what have you heard? I've heard and read messages from her and her herself say... You're not the father. Sign over the rights for the child. No. And I did not the other say day, that. before all this happened, she calls me and tells me to sign over the rights. No, I asked you. Full name to her. So wait, now wait. Your child is calling out for her daddy and you say this is her daddy, but you're calling him and telling him to sign over his rights? Yeah, because he, he, he has... she's seen the text message. He has, he has okay. not supported his daughter or done anything to be in her life since... Then how what, come... Like my... But he's on the birth certificate. Yes. He's so on the he is the legal father. Yeah. Yes. So he can get... You can get state order child support. Uh, he's on child support since February, Your, Your Honor. Honor. Okay. I haven't gotten a dime. All right, well, he gonna have to start paying. Yes, he is. When I got you a job... You did not get me a job where? I got you a job and you work one day That's and you quit. Bull. That's bull. That's bull. I had the job for her. No, she, she worked one day as a cashier, and she quit. That's bull. Because she so said she your... didn't have money for the... So uh, your feeling, Mr. Hernandez, is that she was really just with you for you to provide for her. Yes, Your Honor. And she wasn't willing to help support or earn financially in the relationship. Yes, Your Honor. So she you also me... believe that's why she's saying you're the biological father, because yes. she knows you're a provider. Yes. She knows I'm making money. I'm working. What I'm, doing. I'm working right now. I'm supporting my daughter and me. So I need your help. Let, let's be clear. If you sign that birth certificate, you do. For the past three years, you've had a legal obligation to take care of Liana. And I have. I don't care if you, you have think not. she's yours, she might be yours, she might not be yours. Once you execute that birth certificate and you acknowledge paternity, you are legally responsible. So these arrears that have incurred, they are yours. 
They are your responsibility. This courtroom is about making sure Liana knows who her biological father is and making sure she's able to be taken care of and provided for. Yep. That's what it's about. And I want you to understand that. No matter what this result is today, you're still on that birth certificate. Mr. Hernandez, do you want to be this child's father or not? What, what, no, what are your honor. hopes? For the reason being is because too many stories that I've been hearing is that she's been with her ex, and I'm just tired of it. Ms. Hernandez, what are your hopes? I want her, him to be in her life and support her financially. All right. Mr. Hernandez, if you find out that you are her biological father, will you be in her life? If she is, then yes, I will be. All right. I'm ready to get the results. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Hernandez versus Hernandez, when it comes to three-year-old Liana Lamont, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Hernandez, you are the father. Told you. You are the father. I can see that made you emotional. Do you feel a level of remorse and regret because you've pretty much yes. missed three years of her life? Yes. Right. She's talking. She knows her colors. And you never called me. I'm not calling you. No, we're not doing this. What you're not gonna do is do this. Because the problem is, is that in the moment when he finally saw your daughter as his child, his immediate reaction was a level of emotion. I asked him, are you feeling a level of regret for not being there? He answered affirmatively, yes. And you could just not allow him the moment to take it in, to soak it in, because it needed to be about you. So now... is understanding in this moment the mistake he has made. But you have got to understand in this moment the, what you have contributed to this. Because if you really want him to be a part of her life, you've got to make room for him to do that. I do. Right? I do. And part... No, listen, nice. listen. And part of making room for that, Ms. Hernandez, is also taking a pause sometimes. Right? Part of, uh, of, of advocating and protecting your daughter means sometimes making room so that her father can be a part of her life without always having to hear your mouth. Right? right? Now, back to you, Mr. Hernandez. It's time for you to make up for lost time. You've got your... It's your girlfriend? Yes, you Right. So, you all are in a relationship, but now you need to make some time to focus on the relationship with your daughter. Part of co-parenting is understanding that you gotta love your child more than you can't stand your ex. That's, that's it. Because you all aren't getting together, that, that you all aren't getting along too well, and he did this, and she did this, and he did this, and Liana, and I don't wanna hear it. 